Hey everyone, today Elvis, Carrie, and I will be analyzing a movie clip from the movie Captain America Winter Soldier. Here's the clip. I'm sure many of you recognize the scene, and today we will be analyzing the specific part where Captain America is pulling the helicopter with just his arms, as you can see here. As you can see, Captain America is using his superpower to bring down a helicopter that has his friend on it. From the clip, we can gather a lot of information. Firstly, we can see the type of helicopter that it is, which is believed to be an Airbus AS350. We determine this through picture and its popularity in films. Here's a picture. Knowing this, we can also find the lifting capacity, which is around 1,361 kg or around 13,300 newtons of force upwards. Secondly, you can draw a free body diagram of the scene, and it's no surprise that his applied force that he would have to exert would be greater than the actual lifting force of the helicopter due to an angle. Here's what a picture of that would look like. As you can see, we are assuming that the helicopter is only using upwards force because it would be impossible to find the upwards and angle force of the helicopter from the scene because there's nowhere where it really shows the angle. Moving on, we estimate the angle by drawing lines on the scene, as you can see here. And we estimate it to be around 30 degrees north of west. With this information, we can calculate the minimum required applied force to move the helicopter, which would be around 27,000 newtons. This value is larger than the lifting capacity because the force, again, is at an angle. And the hypotenuse would represent the applied force. By researching, we were also able to find Captain America's maximum pull strength, which was around 540 kilograms or 5,290 newtons, although this is far superior to the world's most elite athletes who average around 265 kilograms, this is nowhere near the required amount of force to execute what occurred in the movie. In fact, you would need 6 Captain Americas to do what he did in the movie. To add on, it would be even harder for Captain America because he's only seen using his arms. But his maximum lifting capacity is when he uses his legs, backs, and arms. So in the movie, Captain America either should have let go, have the helicopter fly away, or have his arms dislocated and ripped off. The math for this can be seen here, where we divide the minimum force required to Captain America's maximum output force. Also, we have to consider that there are many different sources out there saying different things. So in this project, we will be assuming that the Captain America in the movies is not the same as the hero in the comics because there are already many differences between them other than strength. So from this new, new questions arise, such as how much weight would someone have to be able to lift for them to pull the helicopter at the same angle. To find this, you would need to find the needed applied force and divide it by gravity to produce the amount of kilograms. The amount of kilograms multiplied by the force of gravity would give the same number of newtons. This results in 2,800 kilograms needed to be lifted with just your arms, which is more than two whole school buses. So overall, Marvel scammed us of authenticity and made Captain America look stronger than he actually is. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoyed us exposing Marvel.